Good morning, everyone. I'm back. So I have um, my linen paper and I want to seal it right away. So I'm just using uh, acrylic binder and I'm going to do a nice smooth layer just to seal off the paper. It might, you know, wait get wavy or something like that but you know later on it'll just uh, smooth out and then I can do the rest of my thing on top of it without it really going all wobbly so I'm checking if I have everything covered just a tiny bit down here Okay, it is covered. There we go. And this stuff dries really fast. So we'll be ready in no time. Okay, nice and flat. Be right back. Okay, it's dry, and uh, we're gonna do a color. I mixed uh, two turquoises, and that's what we're gonna put on here. But, 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 I'm not really sure how I'm gonna put it on there. Let's see if this works. My brushes got a little hard, so I'm gonna put a the colors next to each other and we'll see how that works. Yeah, I like this color. I'm not sure that it is that much different, although on the uh, monitor it is. So I might have to do a little other color too. I don't really like what it's doing. Let's take another one. Nope, I'm not really loving it. Although this is all opaque and it's really not giving me the, uh, it's not really covering it like I really want it. And let's see how it turns out. I'm going to do two layers anyway, so we'll just give it that little bit of paint and then we'll come back and do it again. And then, because I do want it to be really fully covered, this is really, uh, <laughs> really showing the uh, paper, but that's okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of dark in here too. Yeah, that's looking better. A little bit of dark down here. And it's really not that important because it's the uh, it's the base layer, so it's gonna turn out okay. One's looking a little bit better. Just have to give it a little bit more. There's some gooey stuff going on, so I had to, oops, see that? There it is, take it off. But I want it to be nice and turquoisey. And now the light one. I'm going to finish off with the light color. Okay. Oops. See, it's already starting to drag because it's, it's, uh, 
drying up really fast. So that's that. And I'm going to do add a little bit of the dark color. That's it. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Oops. Gotta cover it all. I think that'll work. Yep, that'll work. Okay guys, be right back. Okay, wasn't really satisfied with it, so I'm gonna dink around with it just a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit of green because uh, I just, you know, too much turquoise. So let's see how this is gonna work. Yeah, that looks nice. I like working with the sponge opposite to uh, the um, brushes, sort of gives you a little bit more, um, I don't know, control. Hey, that's turning out really nice. <laughs> You're not really seeing it, but it's sort of doing a wash over the turquoise. Makes it look really good. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't have to really be perfect, guys. I gotta gotta help you remind you that that it's just gonna be a background thing. So um, just giving it a little, maybe pushing in a little bit more turquoise. Yeah, that's really cool. I like this a lot better for the background. little bit green down here those are nice colors but now I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do the alcohol uh, stuff with I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that so we'll just have to see what happens I think I'll come in with a little bit more, um, a lighter color. Maybe white. Oh, that is pretty. I'm gonna try it, and if it's if it doesn't work, I'll just go over it again. I'm doing titanium white. I want a couple of splotches here and there, but I also want it wet. Ooh, my little spritz bottle is gone. Oh boy, okay. Ooh, this is even better. So now the, uh, the white is sort of mixing with the green. And I'll have to do another little layer of, oh yeah, this is, this is fun. I'm gonna do another little bit of turquoise. But this is turning out really nice. Okay, that's nice. That is much better. Now I need a little bit of dark. Just see how that works out. Yeah, not too much, but it's going to add to it. Oops. And now it's sort of coming off a little bit. Oh boy, it's coming off a lot. I have to fix that. Yeah, that's fixed. Okay, I'm loving it, but 
something is missing. I want something more. Uh, let me see. I need some water. And I need another green color. This is a different color green. Now if I were to really put it in here, you're probably thinking I'm going crazy. I am, but I'm just trying something out. And now I'm going to brush it in. Trying not to get my hair in the way. Oh, someone said, oh, you're not a real ginger. I see your uh, roots. <laughs> well, I never said I was. I've been telling you guys all along when I color my hair. That was kind of funny. I kind of like that. Like I was sort of, I don't know, doing something that make you think I was, I, I was a real redhead or something like that. <laughs> okay. Guys, this is it. Just a little bit more down here. I think I can uh, live with this. Maybe just a tiny little bit more turquoise because I want to put gold on here some some places and I know that the gold really goes well with the uh, with the turquoise. That's bringing up the turquoise just a little bit. Nice. Sorry, it's going to be a long one, but you can just speed it up. No problems whatsoever. That's nice. Yeah. I'm seeing it a lot different than you are on the monitor, but I'll I'll you know I'll do a a, a close up when I'm finished. Okay, we're gonna let this one dry, and I'll be back. And um, I'm gonna do the uh, the layer on top. So what you do is you make a background, then you put on the acrylic binder this stuff, and every um, brand has its own just acrylic binder so we're gonna do a nice layer of acrylic binder then I'm gonna put a glaze on and then I'm gonna do the alcohol ink but I'm gonna do try and do something different with the alcohol ink so bear with me be right back okay it's dry so I did a uh, acrylic binder layer it's dry and now I'm going to do the layer with the alcohol so what you need is, uh, I'd go for transparent colors. You can see on the, um, if you're using Windsor & Newton, you see it right here. See this? This is the black square that's opaque. You have half a square and you have a uh, just an outline. The outlines, those are the transparent colors. So I tried to make it so transparent as, as possible. And you water it down really well because it has to be really, really like a glaze so we're gonna put the glaze on oops I don't even think this is uh, thin enough but we'll see what happens just go over it really fast because it can't dry it's not supposed to dry if you get it dry then it doesn't work anymore so we're glazing it up. There you go. It's all glazed. Oh, can't do it too much. Then I'm going to take the bioethanol and I'm going to do it in a container because I'm going to use it with a brush. So I'm going to put the brush in there and then we're going to drop it on there. And as you can see already, it is sort of 
it went too fast it already dried too much so as you can see the cells are forming but just not enough that I think it's pretty so now we have a dilemma because I can't see the bottom anymore so I'm gonna pour the rest of it back in the bottle that's that I'm gonna put the cap on because it's highly flammable of course but I am really not liking it it's not uh, what I was looking for so the good thing about it is that we can wipe it off <laughs> look at that and this is because we sealed the background we sealed it with the, the acrylic binder so that's good so we don't have to waste anything we're gonna just wipe it down that's it and we're gonna do it again but this time I'm gonna add a little bit more water see my little stick some colors just uh, you know work better than other colors but the thing is that um, I want a dark color so we're gonna do that again and this time I'm gonna just do half of it just to see if this is what I am looking for as you can see it's a lot thinner than the first time uh, maybe it'll work let's just do the whole thing Oh, I'll regret I didn't. There we go. It's a lot thinner. So you really have to make sure that it is a glaze. There it is. I'm going to just do it by hand. Nah, let's not do it by hand. It's going to ruin it. That is better. See that? So it really depends on how watered down your paint is. It has to really be a glaze. And this is the good glaze. So that's looking better. There you go. That is really nice. I like this. But <clears throat> I still don't see enough of the background that what I really liked. I'm going to put more on. <clears throat> yeah, it's starting to really look nice. A little bit up there, a little bit down here. I think we're um, maybe a little bit here. That is really pretty. I'm just hoping that it's going to stay like this. Ooh, a little bit here. And oh, that's already dry. I can see that. Okay. Oh, too bad. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. And then uh, we're going to come back and do the rest. I'm really not sure now <laughs> because I wanted to put gold on it and something abstract on top of it. But I'll think about it. So I'm going to clean everything up. And I'll be right back with you guys. And I know that a couple of people asked about the alcohol that I used. I've used uh, all sorts of alcohol. I've used... Um, what do you call that stuff? The isopropyl. But this stuff really works. It's bioethanol. Uh, you put those in those little burners and it's really cheap. It's like two two dollars for a liter. So that is really cheap. So you don't have to go looking for um, alcohol or anything like that. That works like a charm. And uh, we're gonna let this dry and I will be right back. Okay guys, like I said, this is going to be a long one, but I'm going to give you all sorts of nice ideas to, um, to incorporate into this. So uh, 
right now you see that this is what it is it's dry but if you if you want to bring up those cells what you can do let me get one where I can really show it to you um, let's say this nah, that not that one this one this one is not that you know intense so what you can do is with a little brush you go right around the cell and you give it a little bit of darkness see that but you don't stop there because then it doesn't look like it's a part of the painting so you go up to parts that you like then you pat it in like that see that and you get rid of those sharp borders and now it's more popping up and that's what you can do all over the place if you like it if you want to so it's it's going to give you something that you can do uh, for the people that want more of a hands-on kind of a, a thing so I did this one as you can see here so it's it, it's just more 3d like and all you need is a little brush a little bit of paint you come in and you go around the cell like that and spread it out a little bit there come in here spread it out a little bit and then just push it in and then all of a sudden it sort of pops just a little bit more now you can also do it the other way around where you make some parts you give give it the lighter color like something like white or maybe I'll, I'll do it with turquoise I have turquoise here Need a little bit of water okay so now I'm gonna try and bring some some of those cells let them pop I should have did white but I don't have white so let's look for one like that one there is that that one or that one that one so then you give it just a little bit of lightness not too much you don't want to overdo it but see how it brings it up and this is just for people that you know want a little bit more control over these uh, cells who just like it to be a little bit more popping or just want something more out of it so that's something you can do I'm gonna stop right now because uh, I'm gonna let this dry I'm gonna give it another layer of acrylic binder just to seal it all off because I'm gonna do something on top of it and if I don't like it I want to be able to wipe it off so um, this is for me this is the a background that I think is pretty sealing it will just make it stay like that everything we put on top after that we can take off again so be right back okay it's sealed guys and i'm ready to put something on here and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just press down oops you can't even see that but we'll get there i'm gonna press down and get these nice little golden stripey things and they don't have to be really uh, you know spaced out really well because I'm gonna be putting something on top of it they do have to be just as long there you go now this is a really beautiful gold And I've done this before, but that didn't work out too well with those uh, abstract thingies that I made. But this time, this is working out really well. Eh, gotta make it a little bit more. Spaced out. There you go. Now I'm gonna bring those down way down let's see 
There's a little bit that won't work, but I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I need a little bit more paint. We'll see. And this is pretty much in the middle of the uh, of the background. And you could space it out, you know, you could take a, a ruler and really make um, make the marks where you want to go. But I think that sort of takes away from uh, the uh, artsy thing. Then it gets more like a sort of a design thing. <clears throat> So we're going to come right down with all these little thingies. Oops, that one's a little bit bubbly, but that's okay. Makes it look better. Now, if you do this and you don't like it, you can always come back in and uh, wipe it off like I did before. I've tried it just before I started the video. But that's okay, you can do that. Okay, so we got that done. And now I'm going to be doing a abstracty thing right down here on both sides. I had this thing in my mind for a long time. It's really nice and golden, really shiny. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I'm going to be using um, the thing I used last, but I want to have it a little bit more um, thinner than or narrower than the last time. So we're going to see how this is going to work. We're going to just put it on here and we are going to roll it down That spread out a little bit more here, but that's okay. I am going to clean it off a little bit. So I'm going to clean it up a little just to get more of the, uh, those goldy things. But I sort of like what it did. See, this is the good bit that you have it sealed so that you can do. I like that better than I like this. Nah, it's okay. Let's just do this one more time up here. So it's a little bit the same. There you go. That looks nice. Now I'm cleaning off the tube. And I'm going to do the same one down this side. And all it really is is putting these paint blobs pretty much down where they have to go like that and of course the gold putting gold in between and that's all it is I'm sort of you know liking doing stuff without brushes it, it some somehow I don't know it's more artsy <laughs> if you know what I mean and a little bit more of that I'm gonna have some I did put green in where's my green there it is but the green didn't really come out that well. I 
can always add to it a little bit here and there. Got to get about the same amount of paint though. That's going to be a little bit difficult. Well, we'll just see how this works out. A little bit more gold on top. A little bit of gold down here. Okay, we're ready for the next one. So we're going to put it down here. And we're going to roll it down. That looks cool. Okay. Now I'm missing a little bit of gold here. So I'm going to push that one again once I clean my little roller and of course you can always add that's that's the good thing about this kind of art so you can always add a little bit yeah that looks better now there's gold there and I want some gold here which you can't see but it needed a little bit of gold. Yeah. Oh, there was a bit that I missed. There you go. So this is kind of a kind of a fun way to put paint on uh, on a canvas or a piece of paper. This is what I really like. You can see how shiny it is so that's gonna be that's gonna stay there and I do sort of want that off because there's a lot of paint going over those yeah that's okay okay let's keep it like this Although I really like the, the patterns that the paint makes, you know, when you roll it. I don't know how you call it, but there's uh, all those branches like coral. I really like that. It sort of gives it something different. And I do think it needs a little bit of, you guessed it, glitter. But just a tiny, tiny little bit. Just the uh, on the gold. So I'm going to put a little bit on here, just to make the gold pop a little bit more. Yeah, that's what it needs. And of course I'm going to be uh, sealing it again, but we don't want it on, let's get a dry brush. See, you can just brush it off. That's nice. You don't want it on the sides. Oops, now I made a mess. Okay, I'll clean that up. So that's what I'm uh, sort of going for. I'm not really sure the feeling that I have about it. I think I'll have to just give it a... It needs a little bit more green. I'll have to just let it dry and then see what we get. That's nice. Okay, guys, that was it. I'll show it to you when I frame it. Love you all to pieces. Bye-bye.